okay, Houston ran the ball an awful lot last week. Is that what you expect? or? Yeah, I think, you know, everybody's got their own recipe to win, and I think that their recipe um, is play good defense and try to control the ball, limit possessions, limit plays. And so if they're able to churn out first downs like they did against Utah and keep and keep their offense off the field and, and keep it a, you know, a manageable game, they probably figure that at the end of the day they can be within striking distance and, and, and you know, hope the other team, you know, craps the bed, so to speak. So uh, I think that uh, I think that's kind of been their formula offensively and and uh, it seems like they're picking up a little steam with it. Do you prepare two different quarterbacks or are they similar enough that doesn't really matter? We've had a lot of experience with Donovan Smith, you know, both at Tech and then at Houston last year. So I had a lot of respect for him as a um, as a thrower and and as a runner. I mean, that was something that, that always uh, scared us in the past with him. And, and so he's uh, he's a good player. I think we know uh, what we're seeing there. It's just it's uh, it's interesting to see. I don't think their styles are that much different. Where uh, where it's two drastically different things for us, but uh, both good players. You've had to face some athletic quarterbacks over the last few weeks, and obviously yeah. that doesn't change this week. What needs to change from your guys' perspective to I guess contain them a little heck bit? Heck of a more? heck of a stretch we've had against some guys there. About the four four best in the country. Um, you know, last week we we, we um, had a couple of errors with uh, with contain, and um, you know it cost us in a couple instances, especially early in the game on third down. And um, you know, we our guys are very aware of it. I mean, we're coaching the heck out of it, and, and they know it's just sometimes you get out there in the heat and things happen. You know, sometimes it's scenarios that are um, boneheaded, and sometimes it's scenarios that just come up because they come up. And so we we. Uh, um, all we can do is talk about it and hope that they uh, are aware of it when, when the moment comes. What makes B.J. Payne such an effective <clears throat> blitzer in the defense? Well, I think one is he studies, the, you know, I mean, he, he times things up really well. And I think he tries to – That that's part of it, you know, especially coming from where he's coming from. It's, it's one thing if you're a linebacker and you're coming from linebacker depth. It's another thing if you're coming from 10, 12 yards away. You have to have an element of timing. There's There's some blitzes that we've designed here in the past that – Kids have come clean, but didn't get there because you just didn't get there. You know, they didn't they didn't get it blocked, but they didn't time it up well enough to get there. So, we kind of have some parameters that we talk about um, with where we want them to be when the ball is snapped. And he was boy, was he there? Um, you know, the couple times we called his number last week. When he hits the next gear there on that final defensive play, is that is that something you rewind to watch multiple times? That's so? something that's fun to watch. I, I and I see that frequently. You know, I don't know that everybody gets the chance to see that. You know, he's a he's a twenty two plus mile an hour guy, and sometimes within a game you don't get opportunities to hit that. You know, just because you're working in small spaces or whatever. And so, for him to hit that in that little amount of space on a blitz uh, twenty one whatever it was is is incredible. I mean, he was uh, he was flying said that Damian is playing at an all-conference level. What makes him such an impactful player? Just because he's solid. He doesn't make mistakes. He's technically perfect. Uh, I shouldn't say perfect, but technically uh, it's hard to find a lot of flaws with what he's doing. Um, you know, uh, great understanding of what we're doing, great understanding of what an offense is doing. For example, a couple weeks ago when we played West Virginia, you know, we had um, screen was an issue for us against Colorado. And, you know, kind of figured that that was going to be in West Virginia's plan. Sure enough, it was. I think he had three TFLs on screens. You know, that's just – he just, um, you know, great feel for, for the game. You know, I think that comes with, with uh, maturity and experience and reps. You guys are going to make some plays, but it seems like you guys really play with the killer mentality out there. What kind of confidence is the defense playing with? You know, I, I think we just, we just go and we do. You know, I, I think we're uh, – Kansas is a tough prep for us because they, they have so much – I know they're spending time on us. So we probably over-prepared our guys a little bit last week, to be honest. We, we gave them so many scenarios and so many things were in their head, and we had so many different things that we were going to do to different things that may or may not have shown up. And so I thought early in that game, probably to our uh, to my detriment, is we, we probably had them, our own guys maybe, thinking a little bit too much and not playing. And then, you know, when it came to – "Quote unquote nut cutting time at the end there when you know when we kind of knew what their cards were and we you know we knew what ours were and we could just lay our ears back and play that's when you know we can we can go so I think we got a lot of guys out there that feel very confident in themselves feel very confident in what they're doing feel very confident when they're one on ones and I just got to get those guys in positions to to do it. It's been a <clears throat> really interesting stretch. We've had three night games now." Yeah. Two kind of late on the road and one at home against your rival. Now you go back on the road. 
before an off week. Is there any chance that the guy's a little physically and mentally fatigued at this point? I think everybody's physically and mentally fatigued right now. You know, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do having to get up so early uh, for a 2.30 game. <laughs> um, but I think, uh, I think that we're um, – you know, we're talking about our guys about uh, preparing like this is a championship game, you know, because it is, you know, and every, everyone will be from now on. And so um, I think our guys will be ready to play no matter the circumstance. And, and it's just a blessing that we have an off week uh, in a week um, at this point in the season because there's been plenty of years where we've played three games and then went nine straight or, you know, four and eight or something like that. And so, um, yeah, difficult stretch, no doubt about it, but um, tough guys find a way. Is there anything you can take away from last year's game with Houston or with the new coaching staff? Is it just all thrown out? No, I think uh, we haven't spent much time looking at it other than personnel. We, we uh, um, different, different system, different time, different uh, mentality. I think of them. You know, I think at, at, and I don't, I don't recall exactly, but I know that obviously they were, they're in a little bit of a tailspin as a program at that at that time last year, and um, or at least they were beginning to get into it and. Uh, you know, this year I think Coach Fritz, uh, we have a lot of respect for him and what he's done, obviously, at Tulane and, and everywhere he's been. And, you know, he's, he's got those guys at least playing with some attitude. And so we, we, we can't take them lightly. Have you gone back and looked at the 22 Tulane game? Uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, just to see anything that uh, that may show up. Um, we haven't taken a deep dive into it because it's just, you know, things evolve and things change. But and I know that he's got his fingerprints in offensive stuff because he's 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 that's his background. And I know he has his beliefs and um, ph philosophy and what he's going to do. But I think things change a little bit. We've got a couple of things earmarked, but that's about it. I know there's been some rough patches this year, but. What's it say that against Tulane, Colorado, and Kansas, when they need something from your defense, they're getting it? And Gosh, I could go without having to call a two-minute to win the game. It'd be awesome. Um, <laughs> I like the non-stressful endings. Those are a lot more fun for me. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've got competitors in, in that room, so they're going to they're gonna rise up and compete.